Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. We will be focusing on maths.3.nbt.1.1 for those studious scholars who are following along with me in your Florida test item specs. Um, yeah, so we will be working on place value today and mostly focusing on rounding. So, let me teach ya. I love rounding. Let's do it. This is a two-part equation editor response. Part A, what is 746 rounded to the nearest 10? 746 rounded to the nearest 10. So I need to find the tens place. This is the ones place. This is the tens place. Underline it. Then you look next door and it's a six. If it's five or more, we five or more, let it soar. And if it's four or less, four or less, you better let it rest. So here we have a six. That goes with the five or more, let it soar. So the four becomes a five and the six. Everything behind that rounding place becomes a zero, so seven. 150. Part B, what is 746? Same number, run into the nearest hundreds. So find the hundreds place and underline it. Ones, tens, hundreds, boom. Spotlight to the right. Okay, and this is part of zoop. Four or less, you better let it rest. So let it rest, that means that the seven rests and everything else becomes a zero, so seven hundred. This is probably one of the hardest, most challenging rounding problems to solve. This is a grid response. There is an example of this in the item specs. And it's kind of hard to teach, but I'm going to try to do my best. So just stick with me as I um, go over this. So it says plot the points on the number line to represent all whole number values that round to 300 when rounded to the nearest <coughs> hairball when rounded to the nearest 100 and 250 when rounded to the nearest 10. So I'm going to focus on rounding to the nearest 100 first. So if I were to round 240, that would be if I run that to the nearest 100, that would be 200, but I need it to be 300. Let me skip a little, so 240. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say it's 245. That would still round to 200. So I need this digit in the tens place to be a 5 or higher. So I have to start at the 250. This is 250, and I'm rounding to the nearest 100. That would be 300. And it also rounds to 250 for the nearest 10. So I'm going to plug a dot right there. Okay? That's the same thing for 251. If you round it to the nearest 100, nearest 100, it would be 300. Nearest 10 would be 250. 252 would be the same. 252, round to the nearest 100, it's 300. Round to the nearest 10, it's 250. 253, same thing. 254, same thing. But watch what happens when I get to 255. If I round 255 to the nearest 100, that would be 300, but it would be 260 for the nearest 10. So my answers are um, 250, 251, 252, 253, 254, right there. i got to make sure I plug in those dots. Po points, not dots. All right, example. Oh, my gosh, I have the wrong standard on the board. I've done, what, two problems? Two problems already. This is 1.1. Okay. Sorry. All right, this is a matching item. It says match each number to the value of of the number rounded to the nearest 10. So 226 to the nearest 10, there's my tens place. Spotlight to the right. 
Six goes in the five or more. Let it soar so the two becomes a three. So I've got drop down the two. This became a three. That becomes a zero. Watcha! Next, we have 216. Round to the nearest ten. Spotlight to the right. Six or more. Five or more. Let it soar so the one becomes a two. The two before it drops down and this becomes a zero. Watcha! Last one. 236. Man, all these sixes. Spotlight to the right. Goes in the five or more. Let it soar. That was definitely on key. So the three becomes a four. I bring down the two before it, and this becomes a zero. Have I told you lately I love rounding? It's like my favorite thing. Multi-select. Select all the numbers that will equal 700 when rounded to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to take each one. 690. Run to the nearest hundred, so I underline the hundreds place. Spotlight to the right, five or more. Let it soar, so the six becomes a seven. And everything behind it becomes zero, so yes, 690 is an answer. But don't stop there. Underline the hundreds place, spotlight to the right, five or more. Let it soar, so the seven becomes an eight. That's too high. 701. I bet you can guess what this one's going to round to. Spotlight to the right. Four or less. You better let it rest. And everything becomes a zero. Boom. 642. Six. Spotlight to the right. Four or less. You better let it rest. And everything becomes a zero. That's not 700. That's only 600. All right. Four or less. Oh, wrong tune. Four or less. You better let it rest. And everything becomes a zero. A, C, E. One, two, three. This is so easy. Yeah. I'll be here all day. <laughs> This one's kind of challenging too for the kiddos at first, um, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. So we've got a table item. An incomplete table is shown. Complete the table by filling in the missing original numbers with possible values. Well, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of mimic the chart down here, but show you the range that the answer could be in. So for rounding to the nearest 10, on that side, and that's 300, then 295 would round to the nearest 10, all the way to 304. Once you hit 305, that would round to 310, and you're no longer in this range. So anything in this range would work. I'm going to pick 297 to put in there. 330. So 325 to 334. Any number in this range when rounded to the nearest 10 would be 330. So I'll pick 325. And you can check it by saying this is the 10. This would let it soar. So it'd be 330. And finally 360 would be 355 would round up. And the highest we can make that would be 364. I'm going to put 364 there and to check to the nearest 10, 5, 4, or less. You better let it rest. 3, 6, 0. It's not too bad. Just keep practicing. And you can practice by clicking the link below, and that will take you to my teacher store where you can download these problems along with two other sets of problems. You know what time it is. It is time for our motivational quote. And here it is. There will be doubters. There will be obstacles. There will be mistakes. But with hard work, there are no limits. 
to work hard, people. Work hard! Pass this FSA. Watch these videos over and over again until you get it. Sorry that I was, I'm not really yelling at you. <laughs>